Hello and welcome and here we are again, a PME Facebook Live event and it's great to see you all with us yet again from wherever you are in the world. We know by now this is a very, very international event, today won't be any different at all. Well, Nimish has already shown you over here what we've got lined up and it's very much with a wedding theme at this point in time. We're coming into wedding season, so we're looking at lily cutters and what we can create for you using those lily cutters. So we've got a whole array of flowers, including what we hope you'll think and agree is a very special fantasy flower at the end. So hopefully you'll stay with us to be able to see that. Now we've got, and I'm gonna get his name right this time because last time around I got it wrong every single time. Nimish is recording today. We've got Samir upstairs making sure that all those thumbs up and hearts and smiley faces uh, are recognized and he reacts to your questions that you're asking as well. He's also responsible for making sure that Pat over in the corner there gets as many shout outs in as possible. Pat's a little bit poorly today though, aren't you Pat? So. Yeah, she's got the snuffles, I'm afraid. So if you hear anybody sneeze or cough, that is Pat, I'm afraid. It won't be me and it won't be Nimish. Okay, so Nimish, I'll get your name correct today. Do not fear. Okay, so we've got a lot to get through. So if it's okay with everybody at home that's viewing, hello and away we go. So uh, first up, we're going to be looking at uh, the lily, very traditional. Now, because we've got so much lined up, I'm not going to be able to do a thing blow by blow. Uh, so we'll just kind of ease in and we'll make sure that you've got components to each and every. Uh, any questions come through with those and we'll be happy to help you, of course. So if we look at our ordinary lily to begin with, you can just see here we've got one with uh, traditional stamens and pistols ready made. And then we've got one with some homemade stamens as well. So we'll kind of look at both aspects today with you. Uh, we're not going to put everything together, but we'll take you through blow by blow as much as we can. So you've got a good idea what's going on. Got some stamens and we've got some wires ready. And I've also got this very nice little gadget here, a shredder. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is tape, uh, get some tape ready, she says, as she's trying desperately to find the end. That's a really good start, isn't it? I got myself, oh, there it is, I got myself a new reel out. Now you might not be able to see it, but if I hold it like that, there's a lovely glitter. This is the, the glittery sparkle tapes, which are really fantastic. Can you see that? Okay, Nimish, he's nodding, he's seeing that, which is good. So I'm just going to snip that. There we go. So I thought, well, if I get some ready, I'll get myself a nice reel of tape out, uh, not thinking that I wouldn't be able to find the end. So I'm going to lift that up there so you can see there's a blade and I've got that set so that I'm going to halve my tape. So be careful when you're using these. I'm going to try and balance that upwards. Just going to thread that through and I'm doing it so hopefully you should be able to see. There you go. Woo. It was a bit like... Uh, one of those things that chop heads off then. So just pop that down there and then just pull through. And as you can see, you get your tape all lovely shredded, nice and easy. I used to be one of those sad people that used to attempt to cut their tape down the center with a pair of scissors. Once I started using my tape shredder, that was it. There was no going back from there. So we've got the tape ready to roll. So first of all, if we look at perhaps a, a petal. So we've either got, if I hold this one up here, I pull that back in the center you can see you've got your three wide petals and then you've got what will be three petals that are narrow on the outer layer there and that's what we're going to do we're going to do uh, the outer layer petal to show you how that actually works so the petal wire I'm going to be using is a, a 26 which should be more than enough now I'm using a gum paste so I'm just giving that a roll, make sure that I've got enough there. Now if I need to, I'm going to add in a little bit of release agent, a little bit of petal base, just to stop it sticking, because already I'm heating up, but I'll cool down shortly once we're well and truly underway. Just going to roll that paste into a sausage. Now remember, I'm using gum paste because that is so much easier to use. It's strengthened, and it means to say I can roll that much, much finer and it will dry quickly and it will hold its shape as well. So I've got my wire here and you can either cut your wire into thirds or halves. I've actually done it so far into uh, thirds, just steady myself, there we go. So make sure that's nice. So I've got my sausage, I'm gonna pop that into my grooved board, which is what I'm working with there. Uh, Pat's already got a shout out. People are obviously watching as 
as we're carrying on. Go for it then, Pat. I'm just going to carry on. Okay. Yep, go for it. Right, you go. Um, so first of all, we have a hi from uh, Adejo from Watford. Uh, Norma says hello from Grimsby with a lovely smiley face. Oh, that's really lovely. And Daniela um, says hi from Italy. Oh, wow. So we've got everybody from all over already. Well, we hello, everybody. Indeed. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you'll be able to, to see something that's very interesting today. So I've rolled out onto my board. You should be able to see that groove just across in there. And I'm going to use the narrow petal lily cutter there. And this nodule just at the bottom is going to go in there. And I'm just going to mark it so that I know where to fold my paste to. And I just do that so that I know I'm straight. Just a little mark there. I'm going to grab my wire, put it to nearly at the top, give it a push in. Make sure your paste is nice and fresh as well. Fold it over and then push that down a little bit. There we go. And if you just seal that away so you've rolled it and then back down towards yourself. Lift it a bit if you need to. Carry on down. And then I'm going to go across here as well each side. And that just thins down my paste a little bit. Take away the excess that's there. If anything sticks through, I tend to just squash it a little bit. Just to make sure it's secure. Then I take my cutter again. Line it up at the bottom. Over at the top so I'm straight. Give it a good push. Very slight wiggle like so. And then I'm just going to take my excess paste away from the outside edge, like so. Pop it straight into your bag so you don't dry out or anything like that. So I'm doing that instantly now. And then I'm going to give it a little, a little push just to seal as it is. And you can see, there we go. So we're all ready to go. And I'm just going to give it a little push and a squeeze at the bottom just to get rid of the excess paste over there. Just going to lose that. So that's nice. Now, if you've got any feathery bits there, you can just flip that over onto a foam pad like so. Line it up there and just give it a little rub like so. And that gives you a really nice little clean edge. If you can see that, you should be able to see the difference there quite nicely. If you need to, you can remove that after it's dry. And we'll have a look at that in a little minute. Pat's already got another shout out. My goodness, people are shouting out a lot. They are indeed. <laughs> yes. And as you said earlier, very international. So you've got um, a, a ciao from Maria in Italy. Ciao back. <laughs> and uh, Lisa says hi from St. St. Louis in Missouri, USA. Oh, very good. And uh, Helena says hi from sunny Sweden. Oh, and wow. she gives you a lovely wave, a big smiley sun. Wave and back. <laughs> and she sent um, the Swedish flag to go with it. Oh, well. that's great. Lovely. Oh, isn't that kind? Well, that's really, really good to have all of this coming back from you all. That's really good to know. So I'm just softening the edges at the moment and I'm just using a, a bone tool just around the edges of the petal like so and to the top as well. There we go. Now, if you want to add in any extra detail on there, you can actually make some cuts, which we're going to do just now. Uh, I'm just going to bend first of all. So just give that round, give it a little tweak at the top and a little pinch at the top as well, just to give you that nice, nice shape. And then just with some scissors, pointy scissors, I'm just going to give it some snips. So you'll have to excuse me for a second. I'll try not to... Uh, cut the wrong thing just give it a little push in there i think i just snipped a little bit off there we go so you can see you've just got a little bit of detail coming in and ready okay so i'd leave that to dry just on the top so it can join its little friends and it's ready to go now what we've actually dusted up here we've used some mellow yellow and a little bit of green just along there but we'll do some more dusting in a little short while when it comes to it. So now we're just going to look at the centre. And with the centre, the pistol, uh, we've got our wire here, which we've got a 20, 26. So it's just the same. We can just use up what we've already got, if you like. Uh, a little ball of paste to go on to there. Just 
Now I've got the pepper base out, so if anything gets too tacky, then I'm able to just mix a little bit of that in to be able to make sure that it can work nice and easily. So just a kind of a small pea size on the end of the wire there. And I'm just gonna squash and twist that down the wire. So that's just loose between my finger and thumb, just to help me be able to, to work that down the wire. So I'm not holding it tight, it's just maneuvering between my finger and thumb. So there we go. So it takes a few minutes just to work that paste along the wire. Again, this is why it's important to make sure that you have got uh, a nice fresh paste. So if you're having problems or finding that it's cracking as you're going, then the chances are you've spent too long, you've tried to add in maybe some corn flour into that when you didn't need to, etc. And you can see that just works its way along quite nicely. Now I've probably gone a little bit skinny uh, so it's not going to be a very large pistol, uh, but it will be kind of quite sleek, which is nice. Oh my goodness, Pat's there again with another shout out, which means there's lots of people tuning in and watching. I've got a, another little collection for you. Oh, here. you're gathering there, Pat. We are indeed, yeah. Uh, Nina um, Dubois says hi. Hello. Um, Azee says hi from London. Oh, wow, great. Margaret Simmons, hi from Blackpool. Hello. Um, Audrey C. Wright says hi from Northern Ireland. Uh, Shima says, hi, PME team. I'm following you from South Africa. Oh, that's great. That's really good that you're following us. We're always pleased to know this. Now, a little bit short uh, on my statement. So I'm actually going to put a little ball just at the bottom. Ideally, we want to be about two thirds. And like I said, I just need to be a little bit more on there. So I'm just actually going to add a little ball of paste on the bottom and blend that in. That will just give us a little bit more length with the pistol. So again, just into the base. If you have a look at that one, you can see it's got a little ball of paste just on the bottom as well. So there we go. So I've just kind of added it in on there and I'm just going to squash it in and then just kind of blend it. So that's just a way of extending that if you want to a little bit from the base. So it's soon sorted. Now I did say what wire I was using, but of course it's going to depend very much on the size of paste or the amount of paste that you're using yourself because some people work with a much smaller amount and some people with work with uh, a much larger amount of paste so it's it's very varied to be honest so i'm just going to pinch at the top once twice and then three again oh dear did you hear that cough <laughs> that's poor pat in the background so we've got three little areas there, so I'm hoping that's okay. I'm trying to keep it facing towards yourself, so as you can see. And I've kind of made it quite a nice flattened area. I'm just going to create three little indents into the top. I do believe I'm a little bit wobbly today as well. Nimish, I think you've just nearly broken um, one of my feathers. I saw you. <laughs> He's moved his hand behind his back. <laughs> Have you noticed I'm actually calling him the correct name today as well? <laughs> so a little bit of a, a bend just going on to there. And that's uh, just our pistol in the centre ready to go. And around this, you can actually add your ready-made stamens or if you want to, you can add in some homemade ones. So I was just going to run through uh, how you could do some kind of homemade stamens. So these were already done, and it's just a little bit of a, a ball of paste onto the end. This will do. It's only a 26 that we need. And again, just a very small amount of paste. That's probably too much this time, so just a very tiny amount. And it is quite good when it's quite sticky for just going straight on and just being able to kind of very easily work down the, the wire. I always find it's difficult when you're doing your petals, but when it comes to doing a pistol, if it's quite sticky, it's ideal because it just glues straight onto that wire and you can really work it very quickly along and down the wire. So it's very quick and easy to do. If you feel that it's gone too far one way, just take it off, especially if it's looking like you've got too much on there. 
because you really don't want these very chunky and you can just work it along and there we go just keep it thinning down and that very quickly gives you the stamen that you want and I'm going to take a little bit just off the top like so and along and pretty much that's how easy that is to create the stamen that you're looking for. Now these little bits that I've taken off from the end here, I can if I want to also just add in a little extra bit onto the end here, like so, and I can use one of those to be able to do that, you see, quite easily. And then just a, a little bit of glue, and then once this has dried, I can then stick one onto the other to give me that lily stamen, very, very easily. I won't do that now though. I suppose I could do, couldn't I? Let me just grab some glue for myself. Pat's coming back again. She's got another shout out. Well, I never. You're working well today, Pat. You're working hard. <laughs> I was going to get to sleep in the corner today. <laughs> no chance. Absolutely no <laughs> chance today. <laughs> well, we're travelling the world still, Paul. Oh, this is good news. Good so, news, Pat. Um, uh, hi from Illinois, this is Pat Jacoby. Um, hi from Orlando um, is Linda Soto. Ciao from uh, Anna. Hello from Quebec, Canada from Sylvie. And hi there watching you from Romania with a lovely big smiley face <laughs> says Clotida. Oh that's lovely but you didn't want to watch what I was doing with my statement then because I haven't done a very good job at all. But you can see the idea. I should have put a little hole in there and then stuck it in. I should have just left it till it was dry. But I was trying to keep you occupied and thinking, yes, this is really interesting. Uh, what I've actually got is one that I've done earlier in true Blue Peter style, <laughs> allowing for me messing up on things. And I'm just going to uh, move Nimish out of the way a slight bit. Thanks, Nimish. And I'm just going to put a little bit of dust on there so you can see what dust that I'm using. Pistachio Sparkle. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? And a little bit of that going on. Look at that. It's just a really nice, gentle, subtle little colour going across and along there. And then a little bit of glue when it comes to that end bit. And the colour that I've actually dipped that into is mellow yellow. So as you can see, you will need to leave your stamens to dry because it won't work. I would normally leave this to dry and then attach the end if I'm absolutely honest as well. So a little bit of dust out onto the side will do the job. There we go. That's the mellow yellow. Oh, Pat's back again with another shout out and you can see that just very lightly. Or if you want to, you can dip in to your pot a little bit like that. Go for it, Pat. Okay. This says, hi, watching from down under in Cairns, Australia. Oh, in Australia. It's wow. 11.15 at night. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, wow. That's from uh, City Coleman. Oh, that's wonderful. Does um, that mean that they're really keen or they haven't got anything else to do? <laughs> <laughs> We won't oh, go there, No, we won't. <laughs> don't, don't answer that then, no. Uh, Barbara um, <laughs> says, wow, and hello from Italy. Charmaine from Cape Town. Wow. Christina uh, from Argentina. That's she incredible. Uh, Neryl Johnson from Cape Town in South Africa. Uh, Veta Sosha says hello from Poland with a lovely big smiley face full of hearts. Um, and uh, I've got Zdeka from the Czech Republic. Oh, isn't that great? That's wonderful. So, yeah, you're travelling the world. We're going there, aren't we, Pat? We really are. So I'm just adding in uh, the stamen so that you can get the idea of how we're kind of putting all of this together. Uh, now, we haven't got too much time, so I'm not going to do these individually, and I'm actually going to straighten them up when it comes to it and when we're maybe putting things together. So if you're kind of doing your uh, stamens, just kind of line them up. We can tweak them again in a minute. A little bit of tape, half width, and nice and tight, and then at the base and twist around. So if you've got any that are kind of a, a little bit longer than they should be, you can just pull them down like so until you've got them where they need to be. Might have to tweak it around a little bit. There we go. And then that gives you your stamens where they need to be. 
just take that bit off there. And then you can just pull them into line wherever you want them to be. So we've got six of those to go with what would be our petals and they can be a bit wild and a bit crazy on the pistol there. Now just on the end here if you want to you can either paint or use your pen if that's what you want to do. So you can colour in the, the end of the, the pistol with a nice dark colour. I'm just putting some dark brown on there. But you can kind of get the idea as you go round. So carry on with that one there. I'm just going to move that again, Nimish. And with something like your petals, obviously you can see you can very easily just add in your pen or your colour from your pot if that's what you want to do just to create the, the look that you need there. So again, once you've got your dust on there, mellow yellow, and a little bit of uh, extra bit on there, you can then just tie that in together. So you've got your three wide and your three narrow. And again, everything lined up and just tighten that in around the base. Line it up as you need it and carry on around with whichever pistol type or statement that you've got in the middle there. So whether that's ready made or one you've done yourself, you can very easily kind of pull that together there. So I'm just going to place that on the side there. And I'm going to quickly then move on to the next flower that we've got lined up. And again, it's a variation of a lily. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm using all the different sizes of the cutters that we've got. We've got the small and we've got the medium and the, got the large. And I think Nimish was showing you those at the beginning. And again, great to work with. They've got the warranty on those products as well. So you know you're getting a really good quality product and one that isn't gonna let you down when you're in the middle of doing all those lovely flowers for your wedding cakes, because there's nothing worse when you think you're kind of well underway. And the next thing is it's broken and it's 12 o'clock at night and you can't get any of them anywhere when you need it. So this is where it's a good thing to do. So I've just chucked all of those things out of the way. And then we're just gonna look at the Longy Florum or Longy Florum Lily or Easter Lily, uh, which is the easiest way to describe it. Uh, this way we're looking this time at the wide petal. Uh, what I've actually done is wired up three wide petals into the centre, like you can see. And then I'm just about to add a, a third wide petal. I've got two in position already. And I actually hung this one upside down to, to dry that. And then we'll just add a, a little bit of dust. Now we've also got a variation again on stamens where I've just used some of that lovely sparkle tape on a wire just to be able to, to have another variation. If you don't want to use your gum paste along the wire, just a little bit of tape and then it matches in with what you've got across your stem there. I did the pistol on this one a little bit more roundy. So let me just move this to one side and grab some of my gum paste out. I'm also going to just be using a, a small tool there, just a, a mini modelling tool, just to be able to, to curl back the petals suitably. And I'm keeping that in my foil with my gum paste. I'm using my favourite, which is the one that's made without egg. Quick flash, look. There you go. I'll leave that there, Nimish can show you that. There you go, if I put that down, Nimish. Don't you think I'm doing well today because I've got your name right every time? <laughs> I could not get it right last time, no matter what. Every time I got it wrong without fail. And Pat's doing well over there as well. She's not snuffling too much or sneezing, are you, Pat? You're doing well. She's got another shout out as well. <laughs> are you okay for me to do this now? Yep, that's fine. I'm just gonna. I'm just rolling out my gum paste so it's not too uh, thin or thick at the moment. So you're fine. Okay. So we've got hello from Cologne from the Cape Company. Ooh. Uh, Magda says hello from Portugal and she sends you a lovely big heart. Oh, that's really nice. How kind. Uh, Ray Wall says hello from Ray. Doing well, my lovely. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ray. Isn't that and, so sweet? Um, and you've got some kisses there. Oh, kisses back then, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Elaine Monterio 
says hello from London, a huge big smiley face. That's really lovely. Um, uh, and uh, Alicia um, from Argentina and Laura Blair from Northampton. Oh wow, I've got a really good selection of people watching again. You have indeed. Well, it's great that everybody's watching and we're really hoping that there's going to be a few hints and tips and ideas, if nothing else along the way, that you're going to enjoy. So wide lily petal this time round. Just going to push into my paste. I haven't gone too thin. Give it a little push. Make sure I put my excess paste back in to my pack. I'm keeping it in the packets in. I'm not kind of transferring it into a different bag. I think it's uh, better to lay that way. So you can see, I have pushed it down into the centre to emboss the line, and then we're just going to pop that out. So again, if you need to, if you're not happy with the finish that you've got, you can just line that up on your pad, give that a little rub around, and that will just tidy up what you have there. Just flip it over. So I'm just going to use that sharp end there, and I'm just going to extend a little bit more go over where I maybe didn't quite get it. And I'm just going to thin the edges a little bit with the flat end of the leaf shaper. I don't want to put too much shape on it. I'm just thinning it down just a little bit. And then I'm just going to curl it back. Oh dear, Pat's coughing now. <laughs> doesn't matter if you go a little bit harder because it just adds to the, the whole look. And then just line up your mini modelling tool there and just peel it back one way. Oh dear. <laughs> Coughing and spluttering. That's on a cruise soon as well. She's hoping to be better by then, aren't you, Pat? Oh. <laughs> now, Nimish. Number one, you're covered in dust. Number two, <laughs> I've got to move you, I'm afraid. <laughs> He'd got himself all comfy there as well. So sorry. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. And I'm going to use some of that lovely pistachio sparkle again. And I'm just going to pop that down the centre of my lily. If you can see, that kind of runs right the way along that centre. So brush that on like so. And then I'm going to attach it across here. Now, generally, these petals would go on before this is too dry. Uh, but obviously, this has been done ahead and it's kind of ready to go. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I can carry on if I want to kind of tweak a little bit more than I can do. So I'm just going to pull that in there just so I've got a nice, nice shape on the go. Pat's there. She's ready with her board with another shout out. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a whole future as a stop go board person, oh, yeah, you know. Thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've just been sacked now. I'm going to be upgraded, am I? <laughs> okay. Little bit. Oh dear, so, this yellow one um, there. Oh no. Uh, we've got hello from Germany. From hello, Germany. Gabby. <laughs> uh, and then hello from Essex. Oh, Essex. From Natalie. Oh. Uh, Olaf from Paulina. And hello from Hong Kong from. Joseph. Ah, oh, Blossom Cakes. As you know, we have uh, a lot of our trade customers are kind of tuned in and watching uh, what's going on as well. So if for, for some reason you're kind of watching the lilies and you're thinking, I'd love to take a course on that because watching me do a few hints and tips isn't the same as being taught. You could hop on there and ask that question and one of our approved locations would probably be more than happy uh, to come straight in and help you and offer you uh, times etc on a course that would be available so you can see now this would sit much better if it was like I say a little bit kind of wet with these petals but it isn't so I'm just going to push a little bit round and you can kind of get the idea on how that would be and that just sits in on the outside edge give it another little tweak and then once it's dry you can spend a little bit of time ready with that so I'm just going to leave that upside down and then we can kind of finish off dusting with that you can add a little bit of dust now if you want to just along that outside petal down the center you haven't got any down onto here either so we'll just add that you 
can just see that starts to add in a little bit of extra colour along the spine of the petal. There we go. Not very happy with that last one on there, but we are kind of fast forwarding everything, but that gives you a little bit of the idea as to how, how that will go. So that's upside down and that's ready to dangle from somewhere. It'll have to dangle from just up there, I think. Okay. So that's a very quick way of doing your longiflorum or your longiflorum or your Easter lily, whichever you would like to, to call that. Now I'm just going to swap back around again, move that over there out the way for Nimish. And I'm just going to now bring in, if we maybe bring in the magnolia, uh, so that you can have a, a little look at that. Now this is on a, a 26 wire, and we've got three layers to this. Now at the moment, the first layer we've got are three medium petals on there. And then we're going to swap, and on our second layer, we're going to probably have our largest one. So if I bring them in and these are ready and they're dried, and then after that we'll have three small thereafter. So we're now swapping, as you may have realised, to the small wide petal, which is this one here. And Pat's got another shout out. So while I get my wire ready and my paste out, Pat's going to go for it. Okay. So um, we've got hello from the Canary Islands from David Hernandez. Uh, Petra uh, says hello to all team from Sophia. Hugs and kisses to Paula and Pat. Aww. Big smiley face. Love you and miss you so much. Aww. And a lovely big red heart. Oh, is that lovely? <laughs> Well, we can't physically do it, but we're sending big red hearts back to you. <laughs> uh, oh, and, that's lovely. Um, Nat Natalie Pennell from Johannesburg in South Africa. And Lorna is watching from Cyprus. Oh, isn't that lovely? Wow. So Everybody's tuning in from everywhere. We really have kind of... We're hit. so lucky, aren't we? we? We are. We're very, very lucky and we're very fortunate. And we kind of love the fact that you kind of take the time out to tune in. Uh, to see what we're up to here at PME and maybe what we're offering. Uh, so it is, it's a real honour that you all watch and, and like follow. I said and, yeah. earlier in, uh, in Australia. I know. It's, um, well, I hope we make it, make it worth your while to be sat up watching us. So we're just going to do the petal first because then that can start to, to dry just a little bit. And again, a sausage. Now with the boards, you can, if you want to, just roll over. You've got your groove in the board and then you can stick the wire in if that's what you want to do. Uh, it's entirely up to you. And you can use any of these that you want to. I seem to generally use this side and this one over here. So if you're kind of really concerned about how big the groove is against the petal, if you just kind of hold your petal against the groove, you can see that this would be a good one to use for this smaller petal here. So that's, that's what we'll do. So I've got my ball of paste. I've got my dust scattered everywhere at this point in time as well. It didn't take me long. It's already going into the paste. So just going to roll away over the edge, going over the edge. Pat would probably say I go over the edge most of the time. <laughs> She's laughing. That's a yes. <laughs> Treading on dangerous ground. Just going to take that away. So that gives me a clean bit up there. And again, you should be able to kind of see the groove just through there. That's a good way of knowing that you've got your paste about the right sort of, of depth as well. If it's too thin, you'll see too much. If it's too um, thick, you're not going to be able to see that. And I'm just going to line up that base just so that I can mark it so I know where my wire needs to sit exactly. So I can just see I've made a little mark there. Just pop that in nice and near to the top. Give it a squash in. Oh, and then she's getting very close. And then up to the top of the wire and fold over. Roll away up the top and then roll back down the bottom. I'm going to get rid of the excess over the edge again, you see. And then again, just to the left and to the right. And that's just thins that down for me. And then line up at the bottom and up to the top. Give it a little push, very small wiggle. I don't want to wiggle too much. Take away your excess paste, like so. I'll put that back in the bag. 
don't want to have to get through to a, a new one if I don't want to start ripping that open. So give it a little wiggle again and a little push just to give yourself a, a centre line and then pull that out. Just going to get rid of the excess paste, so a little kind of removal of that so that we're kind of like where we need to be and then just straighten up. And again, if you need to just kind of tidy up along the bottom, you can also just run your finger and thumb along that edge or pop it onto that pad if that's what you want to do. Uh, oh, Pat's got a question. She's going to fire away. Just going to flip it over to thin it down a little bit. Okay, Paul, this, this actually relates to the groove board. Oh, okay. And as you and I know, there's lots of different ways of using the groove board. There is, yes. Um, and um, basically, uh, Lisa King is asking, um, if you're using the groove board, why are you not inserting the wire into the groove um, that's created uh, on the paste from the board? Okay, you can, if that's what you want to do, you can just create uh, the, the groove in the paste and you can just slide the wire in afterwards, so that's no problem. Uh, kind of putting the paste on, then the wire, then folding it over is just one technique of using this board. Um, but if you prefer to just roll the paste out, cut out over the top and then just push the wire in afterwards, that's also absolutely perfect. There's, there's a number of different ways of using it and it's all about you finding the technique that you like the best and that works for yourself. I think we all kind of get into a, a routine really, to be honest. So then I'm just shaping that a little bit. Give it a little pinch just up at the top and just kind of stroking it in to where it needs to be. That starts to give us our little petal ready to go. And then we're going to look at our little centre here. So for the centre, all you actually need to do, I've actually got um, a little cone shape that was in there. And we've just cut into that using some scissors. So we haven't done too much there. Now the stamens, we've actually just got some ready-made stamens and we've coloured them up. There's a little bit of yellow to start with and then some pink just across here. And these are just going to go around the base here. So it's just a, a little cone and snipping with the scissors as if you were doing a, a little Christmas tree. And then it's just a case of attaching the stamens onto the uh, Pat's looking at me onto the cone you've just created. She's got another shout out. She looked at me like, ah. <laughs> Go on, Pat. Yeah, no, you're fine. Don't worry. Okay. Um, so um, Al Alberto says, I'm from the kingdom of, of Bahrain. Oh, that sounds and good. I think you may know this young gentleman. Kieran Patel says hello <laughs> from North. <laughs> hello, Kieran. <laughs> and Peggy Wong. Oh, Peggy. Says hi, Paula and Pat. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Sylvia says uh, good afternoon from Madrid. Oh, that's lovely. So Hello, in everybody. In, oh, isn't that siesta, though? Shouldn't oh. that be? No, we don't want them going to sleep. Well, no, that's what I was thinking. So that's very lucky that nobody's gone to sleep and they're watching. <laughs> Shouldn't Kieran be studying? <laughs> thinking about it. So just add little clusters of stamens for yourself there until you build up the desired effect. So you can add a, a few in and then a few more as you go. So again, nice and tight and up to the base is what you need to do. And then pull a few of them down if that's what you need to do. There we go. And you just build these up all the way around. So you've got a good amount there level them up a bit and work your way all the way around and then double back up again so you can kind of start to see how that begins I don't want to carry on for too long because I know we've got a signal you can see them built up around here and then that creates your center with a little bit of dust just along there we've got a signal so that if for some reason the battery starts to drain down we've got a signal but I'm keen to get through everything else as well because I know um, I know we've got a lot to get through, so I'm going to move on to the next thing. 
Um, all I'm going to do is just kind of say, no, the battery's fine. It is fine. No. I'm just explaining because I'm moving quite quickly. <laughs> I think I've just given Pat a bit of a heart attack. <laughs> so to do a touch, you're putting on your next layer, which is your, um, your larger one. And then tape up and around. So I'm trying to twist so that Nimish can still see what he needs to. So you're nice and tight just up into there. And this is making your, your next layer. And then your next two can go in as well. So you've got that lovely shape going in. So if that one starts in there, just push that up a little bit to give you the shape. And then in on the other side as well. So you can start to see now how that begins to work. And then you can add in your little layers just across and away from there. So we've got some uh, green on the bottom there, some pink, raspberry pink, and a little bit of red just along the back sections there too. Okay, so I'm not going to carry on taping there so we can kind of move on and forward. But I am just going to take up a little bit more room at the front. Sorry, Nimish, you're running out of room up at the front. But you can kind of get the idea. I'm just scooping everything away. So then we're going to move on to the clematis. And I'm just going to bring this in. Now, there's some easy ways to do this and not so easy ways. So we've done the, the taping. So you kind of fine... Uh, with all of that side of things and making of the petals. So I'm just going to run through this centre, which is quite different to doing a, a pistol. So I've got, um, I've got two petals ready to go. There's going to be eight in total on here. Uh, and what I've actually done is a very quick and very easy centre. What you could do for your centre is you've got your stamens taped onto your wire and then you can make little bundles of additional stamens that go all the way round that kind of help bulk up that section so that you can then take your petals onto it. But what I'm going to do is a, a little bit of a cheat with you uh, just to kind of use a wire bent over and hooked and then taped onto there as well. So I'm just going to shred a little bit more tape, which I seem to be, I think I'm dropping it all over the floor as I go, actually, to be honest. So again, just straight into there. Just always need to make sure that you watch out for your fingers when you're doing this as well, away from that blade. And if you need to, just bring in a scriber just to pull it down safely so that you're kind of away from the blade until you can get hold of it. And then you can, you can go from there. I take for anybody to kind of like accidentally grab the blade. I'm not saying that I've done that myself in the past or anything like that. <laughs> I would never do something like that. But it's easy to kind of not watch what you're doing and uh, before you know where you are, you've grabbed something you shouldn't have done. Right, so I've got plenty of stamens. Here they are. And I've got some additional stamens. So I want it quite bulky. So I might just add in a few more. I've used a very good amount of the pack to kind of bulk it up. And I am just going to open up a few more. So I'm going to use a, a 22 wire just for this centre section. So it's nice and strong. It's very well taped up this. That's typical. Oh, they don't want, I'm going to stick with these then. I actually, oh no, no. I'm changing my mind here, Pat. I was going to not undo these, but I do want a few more in here. But it's typical, isn't it? It's so tightly done up, and I think, you know, I don't want to waste time. But at the same time, it will be better. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. I've got an itch as well. Okay. So... Gather stamens and gather wire. So we're just going to pop a, a little hook into the bottom to start off with, like so. And then I'm going to scoop all my stamens up and slide them into my hook. So we want about halfway along so I think we're probably about right Pat's got another shout out so I'm going to let her do the shout out okay 
So this is from New Jersey in the uh, USA from okay. Nancy. She says hi. Paula Hello. And Pat. Hello. Hello. Uh, Sandy Hoskins. Says, oh, hi, Paula. <laughs> this is your gorgeous sister. Hello. I thought Chichester. I recognised that name. <laughs> um, lots of Hello. kisses, and she says she's very proud of you. Oh, isn't that sweet? Thank You've got you to fall Sandy. apart now, aren't you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that happened already a long time ago, Pat. <laughs> and Pink Ribbon Cakes says hi. I'm watching from Kenya. Oh, lovely. And uh, Deborah says good morning from Illinois. Absolutely lovely. Oh, isn't that nice to know? Oh, that's so good. Thank you, and thank you for watching. We're chuffed to bits, aren't we? That's really good. So, like I said, this is a little bit of a, a cheat way of doing it. So I've just used a little bit of uh, half width tape just to, to bulk up here. And then just by kind of like pushing in on this, I've kind of like fluffed it up a little bit just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And like I say, this is the cheats way of doing it and the much quicker way of being able to kind of get the look that you want. And you want it nice and bulky near the base so that you've got plenty of room to get your eight Well, And then just through the uh, tape onto the wire. There we go. Now I've just done uh, a little bit of dusting onto our centre there. I don't know what you like, Nimish. I don't know what he's up to. A little bit of that pistachio again, and I'm just kind of going to colour up a little bit along there so you can see quite quickly how that's looking. Nice and. There we go. So, very easy way of creating that centre without any complications. And then we're going to look at now we've just used the narrow cutter the clematis as you can see and used a ball tool around the outside edge now the colorings here we've actually got uh, some yellow some sunny yellow which has gone across here so I'm just going to color up you can do the back if you want to but it's quicker if you just concentrate on your fronts if you've got plenty of time you can do that just across and along and then we've got some raspberry Pink. I'm going to use the same same brush for speed and just down the centre and along very lightly and along. So we've got eight petals that we've we've added on, and then just to get a little bit of a kind of definition down the centre, I've just used a wide brush and a little bit of red velvet just along the centre, so you can see how that's kind of like really added in the colour. So I'm not going to blow across onto there. And then we're going to tape those in. So I started off with four petals and then I filled in from there. So now I've just got these last two that are now kind of nicely dried to add them in. Half width tape again so you can see that will sit in there very nicely. And pull that around just going to bend that in and down they'll slot in there and then we just tape that together there again I seem to be losing my tape everywhere nice and tight Nimish is trying to just check so if it doesn't come all the way down don't worry because you're going to be able to pull that where it needs to be in a second so we can kind of just pull we need to same thing that side as well just to straighten them up and then at that point you can just kind of realign them where they need to be move them around a little bit and then that fills in your flower really well now you may be wanting some buds to fill your space as well because they're quicker to do so what we're going to also show you is a, a cage that you could use for your ordinary lilies that we started off with and that you could use for your clematis as well or any flower for that matter that's quite large and bulky that just requires a little bit of an added extra thing so carry on taping down to the bottom so that you've got that all sorted out there I'm going to leave that there for you to have a little look at in the meantime sorry in the mission that's coming over that way so we've got our cage now I've used 24 gauge wires for this and I've got those ready and just add some tape in 
for those. There we go. And I'm just going to tape them at the bottom. I'm going to bend it to make it a bit bulkier so it's got something to grip. And these wires are nice and flexible at this gauge, so it is quite a good one to, to work with. And then that's down there a little bit. Back down again, just so that that's where it needs to be. And then you can separate them out and just bend them a little bit. And that starts to give you a, a nice shape and this will be kind of representing the the different petals so you're just kind of shaping it so that then it's ready to use and pop your ready done into there so if i bring these in over here you can see we've got what will be a bud a hook just like we did before pull the paste around onto there and you just add in along here and then squash your wires into your paste and that gives you how you will then be able to create your bud. Now, I know it's cutting it quite short, but I'm now gonna move on um, to probably one of the last things um, because I'm very aware that the time, I don't know where it's gone, is flying along. And Pat's got another shout out, so while I'm just getting organized as best I can, it's a mess up here, you know. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that, but it is. <laughs> so we have um, shout outs from Tina Keller. She's watching from South Carolina in the USA. Wow, South Carolina in the US, and, that's great. And uh, Anita Patel says Anita, hi. Anita, recognise them, hello. <laughs> uh, Mary Farnsworth is watching from Texas. And Texas as well, that's great. And, uh, and Debbie says hi from Nebraska. That's lovely then, isn't it? That's really, really good. So yeah, there's been um, a, a lot of lot of people watching, but as you say, we are coming to our last flower now. We are, yes, yes. So I'm going to try and move this along as quick as I possibly can because it is um, certainly getting there, isn't it? Time-wise. Now we're using the largest wide petal, and just going to run through this one because it is a bit bigger to to get and fold onto the board. So if you're somebody who does like to do the folding method, I think this one's definitely worth running through with you. So I'm just gonna grab a wire very quickly. Uh, gonna cut that probably in half actually. That will do the job. Into a sausage. And I'm just gonna pre-roll it a little bit because that's the section that will be going off the board. And I'll bring the board back in again. Pat's cleared a few things away. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> I'm going to use the, the largest groove that's up there as well. And then just along. There we go. I'm not going to lose that top section. I'm going to leave that there because I need that for folding over. So just on the bottom. And again, just to mark it. That's just so that I know where to position my wire. And that's going into there, folding that over. So I'm going up to the top of the wire, folding that over, give it a little crease, roll away to seal the top, and then just back and along. If you need to, lift it up and reposition it, and then get rid of the excess off the end. Thin that down, thin that down as well. Back over and cut. Give it a little wiggle like you do, and get rid of your excess paste. Paste isn't going anywhere other than the floor now, I'm afraid. <laughs> Give it a little push. That just helps seal the wire and it also gives you your groove down the centre. Just going to pull away the excess that's on there, like so. And bring in the pad. And again, if you want to, you can just tidy up on those edges. But with this one, this is going to be for the fantasy flower that we're actually creating. So I don't actually mind if that's in there at all. I'm just gonna plonk that down onto there. And I'm actually gonna bring in one of these so that you can have a little look, so you can get a bit of an idea as to what we're doing now, which is the feathers that we're doing. 
I'm a little bit wonky with my wire in there, but I'm not really too bothered. Straighten that out, that's fine. So, we've got our large cutter all ready to go. Uh, paste where it needs to be, and I'm just gonna go over there a little bit more, just to kind of emphasize what I've got on there. Now, if I need to, I can very lightly thin the edges out a little bit, because these are going to be feathers. So it won't matter if you thin down just a little bit, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And then pop it on your, your hard board. And then with that sharp end, we're actually just gonna create lots of, of cuts along the side. So don't be afraid to dig in and pull along that edge. So I'm using quite a lot of force going into there. And then cutting wheel. Lots of little cuts and incisions. Obviously don't chop into your, your wire section, but this is where you're kind of creating the look of the feather. So lots and lots and lots of little quick cuts and incisions as you go along. There we go. And exactly the same thing on the other side as well. So if we just, again, pull that along. Cornim, she's getting in really close here. <laughs> which hopefully will be good for everybody at home. I have no personal space here at all. <laughs> I think that's what they're all loving, actually. Oh, is yeah. it? No personal space. <laughs> no, I'm invaded. Yes. Um, and, oh, while I'm here, can I do some shout-outs? Oh, go for it, in. Pat, go for it. Sorry. No, 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 go. Um, so we've got Debbie says hi from Nebraska. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Powell, I'm in a wet and windy Swansea, South oh, Wales. Oh, no. Um, Ian Mulberg says hi from Stockholm in Sweden. Oh, wow. Vanessa, Re Vanessa says very nice, and she's from uh, Ontario in Canada. And uh, Brenna says hi from Dubai. Oh, wow. And Do you know th what? Everybody... There are just so many people I know. watching. It's, it's absolutely amazing. incredible that everybody's kind of taken the time, you know, to be with us and kind of just getting some hints and tips here. So this is the feather. So I generally just start to tweak and pull it apart and rip it open a little bit. You can kind of see, which then gives us uh, some of that shape. And then that's a little pinch at the top and a twist backwards. And that's ready. I'm going to pop it into the sponge and that's then ready to, to colour up. Now I've got two that are dry because we've actually just got another one to add on. When I've done the feathers, I've just got the centers left to do. Uh, and it's the center that's uh, a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna pop that in there for now. So I'm gonna bring in some powder. This could get messy, Nimish, just so as you know. You were covered in it last time, weren't you? <laughs> Never mind. So we've got some purple powder there, which Nimish has just pinched, but that's fine. Uh, now, last time, if you can remember, we used the glaze and airbrush cleaner. Well, I'm going to use it again to help kind of put some um, liquid into the dust so, so that I can paint with it, but so that it will dry really quickly. It will rejuvenate it. If you put it in with the luster that you've used as well, it kind of rejuvenates that really nicely as well. Now, if I spray straight into the pot, it'll go puff everywhere. So I've sprayed into the lid and then into, into the pot. So you can kind of see that that will kind of be where it needs to be. Now just see where that's at. If you need to darken it down a little bit, then you can do so. Now I'm gonna start with, I've got a little bit of black onto this one, but I'm just gonna add in some purple, which is a purple haze. And I think Nimish was just showing you that's what we're using. So just painting it on. I'm doing front and back here as well. And I'm going as quick as I can, getting that all on there and across the other way. It dries very quickly because of the glaze and airbrush cleaner. But at the same time, it means to say that I can paint with my dust very easily as well. God, I'm really slapping this on here. That's terrible, isn't it? There we go. Oh, Pat's been stood there. Hope you haven't been there long, Pat. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Okay, there we go. So uh, I'm moving I've, on to black now. I've got just a couple of, of, of lovely comments for oh, you. Oh, that's nice. Um, Yen says, thank you, Paula, for the nice hints and tips. Oh. And Casey Lane says, 
love your work. Oh, isn't that so sweet? Thank you so much. Well, I say, I mean, thank you for watching. I mean, everybody here at PME really appreciates that everybody takes time out to tune in and support and be with us. You know, we're always hoping that there's something that you can see. And we know we don't kind of spend long on this, but we're trying to cover as much as we possibly can so that we make things as interesting as possible for you. Uh, and hopefully if you can kind of gain something from that, then that's what it's all about. I mean, it could be that you've not been aware how to use equipment, a certain thing. Uh, it could be you, you know, just kind of looking for a bit of inspiration, perhaps. And hopefully you will have found that today. If not, had a, a little bit of a laugh, maybe at our expense, as we kind of get ourselves covered in dust, etc. Or nimish at times, etc. I don't know. So there we go. So you can see, I'm going to leave a few little white bits there as well because it just kind of looks quite nice. Brush from the outside in as well. And then I'm just going to bring in some luster that is already um, in my pot. And again, I can use a little bit of that just to kind of rejuvenate that back up again. So this is dried spray that went into the lid there. And then I can bring that in onto, well, that one's done. I don't need to do that one again, do I? I can just add that in across just to give myself that added extra bit of sparkle, which is nice. We all want a little bit of, bit of bling. There we go. So I'm going to leave those two there. And while that's drying off, I'm just going <laughs> to do another shout out with Pat. I'm going to do the centre. So while Pat's doing that, I'm quickly bringing in the next and final bits and pieces. There we go. Okay. Yep, go for it. Pat. So uh, Vanessa says she loves the feathers. Oh, good. You'll love this next bit. <laughs> and uh, Marlene Carey says, love seeing the process live. Thank oh, you. Good. And Marlene's in Clearwater, Florida. Wow. Wow. Um, and uh, Betty is from Cincinnati in Ohio. And uh, Cooking Panda. Oh, Cooking Panda. Says hello from Macau. That's a lovely name, Cooking Panda. Um, I recognise that name, I'm sure. And, uh, and just a quick question in there. What is the spray? Ooh, and this, this, this one? That one. Yep. So that's the, the glaze cleaner and airbrush cleaner. We used it last week to clean the airbrush with and to thin down the... The airbrush colours but it's great to use not just as a, a cleaner for your glaze if it's on your brushes uh, but also in with your powder colours as well so you can paint with them and just to kind of bring your or use up any leftover um oh what's it called luster luster that's the one yeah <laughs> and um nancy says thank you for sharing your talents oh isn't that sweet thank you well, it's just a bit of fun, really, isn't it? We're just enjoying ourselves. I'm not going to say, well, yes, I will do. Maybe it's just playing, is it, Pat? <laughs> no, it, it's definitely not playing. It's, it's very hard work. <laughs> so I've just grabbed four 22-gauge wires all together, and I'm going to tightly tape them up. I'm actually making this here. And then depending on what size half ball mould I'm going to use, I leave enough space here to open it out. So I'm going to leave it as it is, tape all the way down. And then I'm going to bring in some pliers, which I've uh, flung to one side at the moment. Now I'm going to use the half ball moulds and there's a set of three of these and there's a very large one as well. So you could, oh, it's okay. Yeah, no, I, I had them flung onto the paste pat and they're in my mess. So just grab an end and pull backwards so you can see. And same thing the other side. You're going to have four of these like so. Oh, do you know what? I've done too many. Oh, well, not to worry. It's not the end of the world. I've actually ended up with an extra one in here. That's fine. It's just going into the half ball mould anyway, so if you wanted to do five, that's fine. I clearly can't count today, can I? <laughs> it's another shout out, Pat. Go, go, go. Flatten it down on the surface a little bit. There we go. And then you can see what size it can go into. See, it's going to fit into there. I'm just going to use the four there. So that's that bit done. Go, Pat, go. Okay. Mm. So Zoe is watching in Hong Kong. Oh. 
uh, Lorraine Smith Bergman is watching from Bali. Oh, wow. Indonesia. Now that sounds nice, Paul. Oh, that does. That sounds better. I don't know what the weather's like outside, but we've had quite a lot of rain the last couple of days. And it's a bit miserable for May, isn't yeah. it? I'd rather have the Indonesian weather, I think. <laughs> if it's sunny, and, that is. <laughs> uh, Annette uh, from Sweden uh, and says awesome. And Maggie Lamb says hello from Oh, Hong hello, Kong. Maggie. I know that name as well. <laughs> So what I've done is I've used, and you can use any size you want to. Um, these were the small ones. These are the bigger ones of the silver pearls. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I've dropped them in there. I've given them a little wiggle in the bottom just so that they all sit together and neat and tidy. The idea is to try to get to that top section, if you can do. And sometimes that's easier to put it in there in the bottom, give it a little wiggle. It doesn't matter if you don't go to the very top because you can kind of finish them off later if that's what you want to do. So you can kind of get the idea. And then sugar paste. It does need to be sugar paste because it's nice and gooey for doing this with. Uh, there we go. Check what size that is. I think that should be enough. So just roll it into a little ball like so. And I haven't done any steaming yet, and I haven't forgotten, but I just wanted to make sure that we had this done and dusted and out of the way. And then we just drop that into the middle, like so, in it goes, like that. And then push into the middle with your thumb. Give it a good push, and then that secures the balls into the ball mould. And then just bring that round and along. So just wipe that to one side. Give it a good push into there. There we go, get rid of those bits. And it will kind of start to shift and tip out. And then that kind of gives you your little balls, your little pearls inside here. Now what you can do if you want to kind of wire that, if you can just pop that back in, you can do it before you take it out if that's what you want to do. Uh, a little bit of glue with your size prepared wire and then just push that into the mold and then you can leave it in there if you want to to dry or you can pull it straight out if you want to you can add extra pasting if you want to do that as well but you don't have to and then that should just come straight out i haven't secured it in there particularly well and there we go. And then leave that to dry, and then that gives you your base. Now, what I've done on this one as well is I've actually bulked it up a bit so that it's got a good area at the bottom to be able to attach to. There's a shout out from Pat, yay! So I'm just gonna leave this to dry over here before I then bulk up the bottom, which I'm gonna carry on with in a second. Go for it, Pat, you're fine. Okay. So this is from uh, Abu Dhabi. Oh, lovely. Uh, and from uh, Zainab. And Sue Safon is watching from Australia. Oh, wow. Another person um, in Australia. Casey Lane says, oh, what wow. time is it there? Can At ten sit? past three, I think. <laughs> in the afternoon. Yes. Um, and uh, Debbie says, um, brilliant. That's How funny. clever. Oh, isn't that nice? That's really good. So that's just showing you that once this has dried, you need to leave it dry first. Just bulk up the base. Now, all I've done is, is kept binding some tape up along there. And I've kind of bulked it up on the bottom just so that we've then got something we can attach all of our petals onto. Uh, so I'm then going to use kind of full width tape. And again, I've got the sparkle tape out. And I'll give it a little wiggle. I don't know if you can always see how nice that is, but I love a bit of bling on my floral stuff so here are kind of again pre-done feathers that have been painted and decorated and there's still room for two more to go in on here which is what we're going to add in and these should be nicely dry now so I'm just going to give them a little bend um, we haven't kind of glazed them over yet and we haven't steamed anything either um, but we will do because that won't take us very long at all so I'm just going to tape and Nimish probably won't be able to see this particularly well because there's feathers everywhere. So I'm just taping right close up underneath and adding in one final feather 
There we go, give it a little bend away. And then that gives us the center fantasy flower, which is all about feathers. So I'm not gonna have time to, I don't think, tape all of it. And again, just position them and pull down your wires if you need to. Now generally I'd spend a bit more time being very careful taping that up, but I know there isn't really that much time. Uh, so I'm kind of trying very hard to speed everything up. Now a little bit of glaze on here is really nice to do. Uh, I've got some tissue paper and it just kind of helps seal it. But also what I'm going to do is steam some of the flowers as well. So I'm just going to lay that kitchen towel, that little bit of glaze across the top. There it is. I haven't got time to put a gun on. So I'm just going to give that a quick, if it darkens it first of all, but it just seals it just a little bit. You can go on the back as well, just to keep it where it needs to be. And you can do any colours that you want to with that. So you can change your centre and you can change the, the pearls that you're putting in there as well. Very easy, just make sure that it's sugar paste that you're actually working with. I've just flicked on the steamer so we can just steam some flowers. That takes about 60 seconds to, to come to where it needs to be. So I'm just going to grab a clematis from just over there and um, steam that. So I'll grab that one from there. There we go. Just to show you how to steam things up. But hopefully you've had some interesting hints and tips today. Uh, different centers for lilies and different looks and a fantasy flower. Now the other thing we've also got is a, a novelty bunny ears. Um, but I don't think we've really got time, but all that is is a large wide petal and the small ones and you can probably figure out how to make some ears uh, using the lily ones there. And just a little bit of steam across your flowers will just help to seal them. And that's what we'll do with the ones that we've created earlier and then switch that off so it's safe. So glaze or a bit of steam onto there. So I think we're, we're probably done. I think we've crammed in absolutely loads there. There's been tons and I hope there's been some hints and tips. I know we haven't gone blow by blow through everything, but it's impossible. I think we've done six, five different things all together. A huge big thank you from absolutely everybody here at PME because we really, really do appreciate the fact that you've been watching, supporting and sending us love, hugs and kisses, etc. Hopefully you've enjoyed what we've been showing you and have fun trying it and sending pictures so we can see what you've achieved. That'd be great to see the results. So thank you until next time and have a great night or day. <laughs> thank you and goodbye.